Hey guys, time for another Math Easy Solution. Today's an interesting one. We're going to talk about the mid-range jump shot in the NBA and how effective it is. Um, a lot of people have been talking about the um, analytics and saying how uh, it's not as effective as dunks or three-pointers. So we're going to break it down really quick and see if that's actually true. So I took some information here from basketballreference.com. Um, I've used this website for a long time and it seems to be extremely accurate. So we're going to use that for our calculations. What I did is I took the field goal percentage by distance, um, and this is across the entire 2015-2016 regular season, and it includes all the teams combined. Okay, so this is league averages. Um, close range is 0 to 10 feet from the basket, 54.4%. Uh, and for us, I defined mid-range as uh, 10 feet to the three-point line. So 10 feet to the three-point line, 40.1%, and far range, three-pointers. Basically any three-pointer, even from half court, uh, whatever. So how are we going to take these numbers and convert them into the effectiveness of the uh, distances? It's actually really simple. We're going to find out the points per attempt you're going to be getting, taking either of these shots. And the calculation is really simple. All you need to do is take the 54.4% in the first one here. We're going to just change that to uh, decimal here. 544. Four. We're going to multiply it by how many points you're going to get if you score. In this case, it's 2. And then we're just going to quickly multiply that out. And it comes out to 1.088 points per attempt. Okay. Um, so now for the next one, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take the 0 0.401 multiplied by this is worth 2 points again. So we're going to multiply that through and it comes out to 0 0.802 points per attempt. Now the last one here is the three pointer, 0 0.354. We're going to multiply it by three because each three is worth three points instead of two like the other ones. So it comes out to 1.062. That's points per attempt. So we're going to just scroll down here. I put it in the little table. The points per attempt, close range 1.088, um, then it goes down like this. So what this means is that if you take mid-range shots, you're going to be getting the least amount of points per attempt. Um, so the analytics does actually solidify the people's criticism about the mid-range shot here. Um, you're going to be getting the most points shooting very close range at 1.088 points per attempt and far range three-pointers. Uh, you know, a lot of talk has been uh, made about this. That's just how you win games. You shoot close and far. Um, with that being said, though, um, some teams, they do shoot a higher percentage from mid-range. This is a league average, like I said at the beginning. So some teams do shoot better from mid, but um, across the entire NBA combined, you know, the close range and three-pointers is actually the way to go. So um, that's a little breakdown we did here. Let me know if you guys uh, like this or want to see more videos like this one. Um, and thanks for watching.